see right there. He pulls up and Carmen's running away already. Attorney Mark Marin says it all boils down to these 10 seconds. When a series police officer fires at least 13 rounds at Carmen Spencer Mendez. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Look at that, he changes clips. So he, he totally exhausted his magazine. 13 shots. As the officer reloads his weapon, Marin says the officer shot the 15-year-old in the back as he ran away. And he had a canine. If he was concerned about apprehending somebody, he could have released his dog. Instead, just Johnny on the spot killed a 15-year-old. According to the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Department, this was the end of a high-speed car chase. Police went after the car after two different reports. First, that a man in a dark Lexus had a gun, and then that a dark Lexus hit a woman and took off. As police tried to stop the car, the driver did not pull over. That's how officers ended up in the olive orchard. You see Mendez jump out of the car. At that time, the Sheriff's Department said he was armed with a gun, and that detectives found multiple guns inside the car. He certainly wasn't turning around pointing anything at anybody. Uh, I didn't see anything in his hand. Uh, the officers say they found a gun somewhere in the field not in the immediate vicinity of, uh, of Spencer. The city of Ceres reached a $2.1 million settlement with Mendez's family this fall, one of two families the city is paying. Ten months before this, Marin says the same officer shot and killed another man, Nicholas Pimentel, another family he represents, Ceres paying them $2 million. What I get out of this is these officers are not trained, not disciplined, not corrected. Uh, they're not... Uh, uh, terminated after in being involved in these kinds of killings. It shows a total lack of leadership, but it also shows a lack of uh, reverence for human life. Stand up. Last year, the officer was placed on administrative leave. In Sacramento, Marley Martinez, KCRA 3 News.